Our subject today is the gold dinar and silver dirham, Islam and the future of money. And someone has very, very intelligently brought a dinar. Here is a dinar, a gold dinar, and he's brought a dirham, but this looks like a, this looks like a three or four dirhams. <laughs> yeah. Okay, made of silver. Good. It does not matter who has minted the coin. It does not matter what he has written on the coin. The market in Islam will accept all gold coins and silver coins. And we will have offices in the market who will do two things. Who will check the weight of the coin and number two, check the purity of the coin. So now, is a gold dinar in the Quran? Has Allah spoken about it in the Quran? You're looking worried now, aren't you? Your heart is shaking a little bit. And amongst the Ahlul Kitab, there are those who, if you give him a kintar, which is a big treasure, and ask him to keep it safely, when you want it returned, he will give it back to you. And amongst the Ahlul Kitab, there are those who, if you give him a dinar, and you ask him to keep it safely, when you want it back, he would not return it to you. Illa ma dumta alayhi qa'im Unless you stand and you pound and pound and pound, give it back to me. This is because they say, we don't have any moral obligations to you cockroaches. We are the chosen people of the Lord God. The law for us is different from the law for you. We can rip you off. When uh, they took Yusuf al-Islam from out of the well, they were surprised when they pulled up the bucket. They took him to Egypt. They sold him for a few measly dirhams. So here we have the word dirham and dirham used for buying and selling. This is the Quran. When you go to the Hadith and you go to the Sirah, there's an abundant information and evidence that this is the money which was used. Now then, I want to begin the lecture with an event which occurred in the life of the Prophet ﷺ. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu once came to the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi and offered him some dates. The Prophet looked at the dates. He said, Bilal, these are very high quality dates. Where did you get them? So Bilal said, O Messenger of Allah, I had two kilograms of inferior quality dates and I exchanged them for this one kilogram of superior quality dates. Those inferior quality dates were worth probably five pounds a kilo and this one was worth ten pounds a kilo. So in value it was a good exchange. This was worth over ten pounds and this is worth ten pounds, okay? So he exchanged two kilograms of inferior quality dates for one kilogram of superior quality dates. He said, Bilal, this is the essence of riba. What you should have done was to sell the two kilograms, take that money and buy the one kilogram. That would be halal. But an exchange of dates for dates that was unequal, two for one was haram, was riba.